Japan has the world largest unreached surfing population with over one and a half million surfers in a population that is only 0.1 Christian. The European surf industry turned over $1 billion and represents the fastest growing surfing business market. The UK has over 300,000 surfers and has been embraced as a nationally recognized lifestyle that many young people aspire to. There are a million surfers in the Sao Paulo state, even representing the poor favelas. Australians are more likely to surf regularly than attend a church regularly. The US has the world's largest surfing population, estimated close to 3 million and relatively few churches relating to them at all. The latest members to the International Surfing Association were China, Malaysia and Singapore. The global surf industry is worth over $10 billion with companies like Quicksilver, Billabong and many others. Most Pacific nations have a surfing population, but many of the churches in these places are opposed to them. South Africa is pioneering development surfing into the poorer black communities and there is a vast untapped population there. There are over 120 surfable nations with an estimated 20 million surfers and growing. Christian Surfers International is a Christian presence of witness within the world surfing community. We are evangelistic in intent and evangelical in flavor. We're mobilizing surfers to reach surfers using their surfing. We are local church-based and inter-church in leadership and accountability. We are integrated in the local serving community as well as the church community. We have ministry based on relationships of trust, earned by service as key to all ministry and leadership. We believe the Kingdom of God changes individual surfers' lives through prayer, Bible reading and other discipleship habits and then the surfing cultures they belong to. We are called to the world surfing community and will seek to facilitate surfing outreach to every surfing nation. Today Christian Surfers International is 170 missions in 23 countries, mobilising 30 staff and over 800 volunteer leaders globally. Our greatest recent breakthrough is seeing an area we've been praying for come alive and the growth of local missions up and down this coastline. Christian Surfers New Zealand has been sending short-term mission teams to Fiji which has helped establish Christian Surfers in this community and uh, with ongoing ministry to the surfing population. It's our partnership with UK Pro Tour. We get the opportunity to work with Britain's 150 top surfers from Thurso right up in the north down to New Kina South. We've created an exciting resource called On The Rocks which is basically a six-part series which introduces surfers to the gospel. Um, our greatest recent breakthrough through ministry has been the development of what we call prep school, which is a week-long intensive training for uh, teenage guys and girls. We've seen them in a short period of time go a long distance in their ability to share their faith and have a real heart for the people in their coastal communities. In Christian Surfers Japan, we just did the Foundation's Leadership Training course and we have seen great results. Being women's ministry in Australia is seeing large numbers of girls being involved and being confident and free to be who they are in Jesus Christ. We are using the Spanish Surfers Bible as an amazing tool for the Peruvian surfing community. The Spanish Surfers Bible will impact Argentina. Our most recent breakthrough in ministry has been through chaplaincy. Wonderful to be part of an international team of guys who are serving the world tour through professional, regional and local events, um, sharing the gospel through service. Our mission as Christian Service International is to mobilise a global network of affiliated nations and individuals to help them share the gospel with surfers, to get them connected with the local church and to do it together because not one of us could reach the world surfing community alone. 